guys and welcome back to another video. I am going to film a what's in my toiletry bag for camp. I have realised that we're literally in April and the planning and prepping and packing literally starts now. I mean for me it started I want to say a few weeks ago like starting to buy things and work out what I did need for this summer but realising that some camps start in May is mental to think that that's literally next month. So I thought I'd start with some of the packing videos. I'm going to do I think a few. I'm going to do a what's in my toiletry bag. I want to do this sun is actually driving me insane. <laughs> The one time I don't want the sun to come out. Ugh. I'm going to do a what's in my toiletry bag. What's in my makeup bag? I don't know if that's interesting enough. I don't know if people actually want to see that. Um, Like a what's in my like tech stuff. Like what tech stuff I'm taking. Like cameras, phones, chargers, all of that good stuff. A what's in my hand luggage. And then the, the trusty big packing video when I'm going to show everything I'm taking to camp. So part number one is what's in my toiletry bag. So yeah, I'm literally just going to show everything that I would take to camp and talk through things if I'm taking certain things, why not? All of that good stuff. So to start off with bag wise, I'll normally take like a big toiletry bag like this and then like a little pouch kind of thing that I can just put smaller things in. But this is going to be the toiletry bag I take to camp and I love this. I have no idea where this is from. It's just a plain black makeup bag, toiletry bag, but it's so good. And then we have lots of goodies inside. It would normally be a little bit more organized, but like I say, I haven't put anything in here yet. So I'm gonna fill this up. Okay, one thing I do wanna point out to start with is in terms of toiletries, I've always had the stance that toiletries can be really quite heavy. They take up a lot of room, they're quite bulky. So I don't take full size toiletry items. That's just a personal preference. If you wanna take full size, that's absolutely fine. Obviously you can. For me and at my camp, our camp will get us out to Walmart or Target or to the mall within the first few days of being at camp. So I'm not desperate to take things that are gonna last me months because I know I've got chance to get stuff on my time off and stuff as well. So obviously I'm gonna show you everything I'm taking anyway, but in the main, I take smaller size things that will last me for at least the first week or so, and then I can buy out there. The only thing I would recommend obviously taking full size of with you if you need is things you can't get over there or are gonna be really expensive out in the States. Or if you just don't know if you're gonna be able to get it and you need it or you really wanna have it. But yeah, I personally like to save most of my space for clothes and shoes and spirit stuff, but it's completely up to you. Okay, first up is some hair care bits. So obviously a hairbrush, trusty hairbrush. I'll normally take a little comb as well, just for when I'm doing like different hairstyles, it's better to have a comb I find than this brush. But again, that's just personal preference. Load of scrunchies. These are just some random ones that I've got. Hair ties as well stock up on hair ties guys if you think you're obviously going to need them throughout the summer because they go missing so easily as hair ties do normally anyway but at camp even more so and then next up i just take a little pouch with some hair grips and these tiny little um hair bubbles and also like rubber bands as well which are really handy to have okay i've had to just close the blinds because the sun was actually really shining and it was just too bright so i hope this isn't too dark i can't tell but also some hair clips these i love this one this is so fun even though i don't know what how it's got ink all over it um, but just fun clips like this are always nice to have um, for like dress up days or even just normal. They're just good to have. Okay, this is so rogue, but one hair care item I would recommend people to take from personal experience at camp are these little sachets. This is the Malibu Sea Hard Water. I don't even know what it is. I can't even describe it to you, but just for some context, I have extensions in. I wear extensions at camp and the hard water, not even just at camp, but anywhere in general, is really harsh on hair. When I went out to Australia, I was using a sun cream that I actually got whilst I was at camp and it has an ingredient in it that turned my extensions bright pink. Like I, I wish I had a photo of it, but I don't. And I was recommended to buy this treatment, I guess it's called, but for me personally, as someone that wears extensions, and I've had a few girls message me actually that are in the same position and they wanna know how to take care of their extensions. This, I can't even put you on this enough. This was literally saved my extensions. It pulled the color back to what it normally was. And it was so strange how it happened, but just something to bear in mind as well. There's a sun cream ingredient somewhere in some types of sun cream that can strip pigment from your hair and colors and different things. So this literally, was a lifesaver but i will use these on my hair normally even without extensions just because of the water build up at camp and just in general my water build up here as well these are just nice to strip every, all the nasty stuff out of your hair and i find these work really really well so bit of a side note maybe something to think about getting or just like if you've got good hair care products but i will be taking a few of these to camp okay next up is like dental products so i normally take a little mini um mouthwash full-size toothpaste this is something that i just find 
this will last me like all summer anyway like a big sized one and then i just wouldn't bring home whatever i've got left and then obviously a toothbrush i normally take a few toothbrushes but i can't find my new pack that i bought but i'll normally buy just like the pack of three take all of them and then just obviously swap them out when they get gross but yeah those for dental products okay next up deodorant obviously um i find deodorant is so expensive to buy at camp when you're in walmart and target so this is one thing that i do normally take a full size one of just because i don't have to rebuy loads when i get out there because i find they're so expensive i find that about toiletries in general in the states i don't know why but yeah deodorant whether it's roll-on spray completely up to you okay next up is sun cream something to obviously really remember in general but for at camp especially i I don't know if I'll actually take this one. The reason I got this is because I absolutely love the smell of it. It smells just like my perfect holiday scent. But the one thing that's good to have at camp is an aerosol sun cream, I find. Just because when you're getting ready in a rush in the morning, you're having to get all the kids out and ready for the day. You've got to make sure they've got sun cream on, they're ready. Sometimes having to rub in sun cream can take forever. So I probably will get a spray one over this one but i do love this one it smells so good and then a facial spf i literally bought this the other day and i'm loving it a 50 spf for me on my face at camp is so important because you don't realize how much you're out and about in the sun and how easily it is to get burnt and on days off as well please don't forget to wear sun cream on your day off because it's so easy when you just think oh it's not actually too warm today we're just gonna lay out by the pool or we're gonna lay out by the lake whatever you're doing you'll get burnt so please take good spf okay next up is all my like shower essentials these are things that i normally take more of like minis i don't wash my hair loads to be fair anyway like i don't wash it a lot i'm like a one in every seven to eight day hair wash kind of girl so little ones of these for me last me probably like my first two or three washes and then that's when i could just then buy like other minis um but yeah little shampoo little conditioner these are really good to get as well just like the reusable bottles that you can buy from like primark for a pound for a big pack and they're just handy to have put your favorite conditioner in there favorite anything and be good to go one thing i will take more full size with me is a purple shampoo again i have blonde hair the sun and everything just being in the water and different things i like having a purple shampoo to just feel like i can brighten my hair up a little bit and this when i, I went to buy a purple shampoo at camp last year because i had none and it was so expensive so lesson learned i'm gonna take one with me okay next up is just like a shower gel shower oil again i do take a mini of this because i know i can get out to a walmart or a target within like the first two or three days at camp so that's when i'll normally buy my big one and what we do at tyler hill for staff during orientation which is really nice is we had like these toiletry boxes made up last year so that for anyone that either forgot toiletries or just couldn't fit them in their bags or thought we could maybe get to a shop straight away we had these like toiletry boxes with toothpastes shower gels conditioners shampoos just like your basic toiletries that you need so there's that there as well and then i would just go and buy a big one when i get to walmart okay they should have probably gone in hair care but just kind of like a leave-in conditioner your hair at camp i find does just naturally get quite dry if you're in and out of the lake if you're in the pool obviously showering and just washing it it can feel quite dry so like i said any of your good hair care products that you want to take that you're not 100 percent sure if you can get out there oils i'll take a few oils i just need to rebuy um so yeah anything that works well in your hair that you're not 100 percent sure if you can get by bring a full size one i like taking the minis again because i know i can get a lot of the things that i use in target anyway but completely up to you okay next up is a trusty razor i actually went and bought this the other day and i haven't opened it yet so let's open it together it's i love the estrid razors i literally oh my god this is such a nice color of purple um i love my estrid razor like it is actually a game changer and i find these just last really really well i'll normally take these come with like is it two of the other razor heads i'm not sure um i'll take that with me as well and then i got this travel case from boots it was in the sale for like three pound and i thought that was just going to be so handy to put is that right i think just for storage wise because sometimes i don't like having a razor just like loose in my bag so having it in a case is perfect okay next up like sanitary products tampons and pads i will take to camp with me because they are really expensive out in america i find can't remember off the top of my head how much they were but i remember being quite surprised at how expensive they were so yeah take some bits with you just because it's easy to have and they don't take up too much room at all okay next up is some cleansing wipes i actually won't take these wipes in particular for my face i like having a micellar water and one of those big reusable cotton pads i just cannot find it for the life of me i have no idea where it is but i thought i'd just show you these just anyway um but even just like body wipes are good to have especially when you're on the go a lot they're nice to just have on you or if you like using face wipes obviously completely up to you but yeah i normally take micellar water and just like reusable cotton pads next up 
bug spray. You are not gonna wanna forget bug spray, guys, because genuinely, <laughs> the bugs, the bugs are real over in America. Especially at camp, obviously when you're in the middle of nowhere, it's normal to come across more bugs. But anytime you're obviously, you've got an evening activity, if you're anywhere like in towards the woods, if you're having campfires, different things, just have some bug spray because it's a must. And last up is just some sort of body spray, perfume, anything. I normally take a body spray with me just because I personally don't see the need in having like one of my like, nice fancy perfumes out with me at camp. When a body spray does an amazing job and this smells so, so good. This is, what is it? Victoria's Secret Champagne Petals. It's so nice, but again, just nice to have. And obviously they're cheap to, if you then wanna go and buy one on a day off, if you go into a mall, they're just nice and easy to get. Right, and I think that's everything. I feel like I've forgotten something. Let me know down below if I've forgotten any toiletry items because I feel like I've forgotten something really important, but I don't know. But yeah, I will probably just put like all my hair care bits in here. So I'd normally put like my hair ties, scrunchies, these things, my little leave-in conditioner this honestly guys go and check this out because it's actually saved my hair and then i'll just keep that so i know all my hair care stuff is in there and then just put it straight into my black bag and then just pack everything else around it which actually guys isn't as heavy as i thought it was gonna be i literally when i say like normally at camp i take very minimal amounts of toiletries like i'm not joking like normally it's literally nothing but sometimes you do end up spending loads having to rebuy it all so okay and that's me done and my toiletry bag and like i say i would just on top of this, have like a makeup bag with just like my actual makeup bits in. But yeah, I feel like I've done pretty good for that to be all of my toiletries. Okay guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed and hope it's given you a little insight on some of the things I'm taking to camp toiletry wise. Again, please let me know if I've left anything out. because I do feel like I have, but I can't think what I could have left out. Um, and let me know if anyone started their packing yet because my packing is starting. I'm going on holiday tomorrow. And then when I come back, that's when I really need to crack down on planning and prepping and getting everything sorted. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.